Alright, I think it's finally time to answer what seems to be the most asked question under my videos. Both for you guys, since I love sharing some tips, but also for me to have a proper tutorial to share in one link. In case you were living under the rock, the app is called Minimeters. Just kidding. And there is a lot more to it. If you never messed with any live settings and your setup still looks like this, well, then it's about to get smooth as butter. This little info box here is nice, but since real men don't read manuals, let's replace it with something more useful. Every module inside millimeters can be detached. So let's start with a spectrum analyzer, go to settings of millimeters, and then click this little thing here. That will basically give us a pop-up window and now let's drag it to our info box. You can resize it however you want, but it's a little too big to fit here. And nope, I'm not making that joke. Anyway, you can easily fix that by clicking this little box. And now once I drag the corner of this window, I can basically resize it to whichever size I want. Now, you can just throw it like that and call it a day. But if you are obsessed like me, you may want to change the skin to something with a little bit more contrast, like for example this, and then carefully fit the space, like that, and now switch back to the skin we used. It really comes down to your personal preference, just choose whichever modules you find the most useful. I went with stereo field, but you could pick spectrogram, waveform, oscilloscope, you get the idea, whatever suits you. The new version also lets you save presets so you can have different setups for let's say sound design mixing or just impressing your family with cool visuals they don't quite understand the most important part is to pin all of those windows on top so they won't disappear while you click anywhere inside life and you can do this either by just going here and then pinning the window or if you have something bigger, like for example, the full millimeters window, you can actually click this pin icon and then whatever I will do here, they always stay on top. Now I feel like this video is already longer than it should be, but to earn a like from the real one like you, let me add some bonus thoughts. Now obviously the placement of those modules highly depends on your taste and where you have room inside your live window. I suggest the info box because it always stays at the same place, even if I would want to edit a clip for example. Now obviously I have this LUFS meter which kind of blocks the view for some clips, but I don't mind that to be fair with you. By the way, I saw once someone making a script to reposition millimeters window. I will make sure to leave a link down in the description if I will find it. Second thought is how I match colors. I find this millimeter skin pairs perfectly with those skin settings from life. Feel free to copy them. But if you are bored of how life looks in general, I highly recommend this crazy skin pack. It's not cheap, but considering you can change a font, you can really customize it to the max. And a third thought is that Millimeters now allows you to sample or clip anything and drag it to your session. A cool addition, yet it works best with a full window opened. If you made it this far into a such a niche topic, congrats. Looks like we are both part in a nerdy weirdo club. And if you're down to customize life even more, you might want to check this one next.